channel if you're new. I'm Alicia and I am so glad you're here. Today is all about muffins. What is it about muffins that we love so much? I've got a healthy, gluten-free, and dairy-free base recipe for you that you can take and modify to suit your needs and flavor preferences. I've then created seven different options to inspire you. I've got four that I'm sharing in this video and three more in the free ebook with all of the recipes that you can download using the link in the description box. So what is the base of these muffins? It includes fruit puree, so that could be bananas, make sure they're spotty, but if you aren't a fan, it could also be applesauce, sweet potatoes, pumpkin, etc. I'll show you some examples. Examples. It also includes rolled oats, eggs, liquid sweetener like maple syrup or honey, nut butter, vanilla extract is optional, baking powder, baking soda, salt, milk of choice, and any mix-ins like nuts, dried fruit, or berries. Did I mention that all of these are blender muffins, so they pretty much couldn't be easier? How do we run with that? Let's start with a basic blueberry. In a blender goes applesauce, rolled oats, eggs, maple syrup, cashew butter, vanilla extract, baking powder, baking soda, salt, and cashew milk. Blend it up. Once integrated, you've gotta mix in those mix-ins, which is just blueberries for this one. Then into the muffin tin it goes, an ice cream scoop makes it super easy, and then bake them at 375 degrees Fahrenheit for 18 to 20 minutes. They're gorgeous. I love all muffins, but I don't know if anything beats a basic blueberry. This recipe is so full and delicious, and it's almost like breakfast bread in muffin form. I love it. What else do we have? Chunky monkey, anyone? A classic combo of bananas, peanut butter, and chocolate is sure to be a win. We've got mashed banana, oats, eggs, honey, which I think goes better with the bananas and peanut butter, vanilla extract, baking powder, and baking soda, salt, and almond milk get blended. I add chocolate chips and walnuts as mix-ins. I love adding mix-ins that add texture like nuts. Into the oven they go. You guys, they do taste as good as they look. You can't go wrong with peanut butter, chocolate, and banana. It's like a banana bread kicked up a notch. Next, let's get a little crazy. Lemon prune and poppy seed? Bear with me. For the fruit mash, I'm making a prune puree. You guys know Sunsweet Amazon prunes are my favorite, and I'm blending them up with water to make a fruit puree that can act as our fat substitute. So if you're not a fan of bananas or applesauce, try this. It's naturally sweet and so tasty, not to mention prunes are super nutritious and great for bone health. That goes into my blender with oats, eggs, honey, and you can use a bit less sweetener here since those prunes add a nice sweetness. Almond butter, vanilla extract, baking powder, baking soda, salt, almond milk, and fresh lemon juice. So funny story, I totally forgot lemons when we were filming this and almost made lemonless poppy seed muffins, but don't worry, I remembered last minute. I add in fresh lemon zest and poppy seeds as my mix-ins, of course. Into a pan they go to bake. Okay, the sweet and tart prunes pair perfectly with that bite of lemon. These are great on their own, but I love adding a lemon glaze on top. You can get the two ingredient glaze recipe in the ebook with the rest of the recipes. Okay, last one for today is a pumpkin pie. Anyone else think it's pumpkin season year round? This one is canned pumpkin for half of the fruit puree and applesauce for the rest, since pumpkin isn't sweet on its own, followed by the rest of the base. Oats, eggs, maple syrup, peanut butter, vanilla extract, baking powder, baking soda, I add salt, cinnamon, and almond milk. With some chopped pecans as mix-ins. This is another classic that you just can't go wrong with. It's comforting but substantial, so I love to have these around for a quick and easy breakfast or snack. I'm telling you, this base recipe is so fun. You can go crazy with it. Those are all tasty, but to be honest, you don't wanna miss the others in the ebook, including my basic banana nut, my favorite apple cinnamon and date, and what could this mystery blue muffin be? You'll have to get the ebook to find out. It is free to download using the link in the description box. I hope you guys enjoyed these recipes. Let me know which is your favorite, and if you enjoyed it, I hope you'll share this video with a friend. Thanks for being here. I'll be back next week with a new video, and remember, it's all a matter of mind over munch.